you're gonna save 15 to 20 percent of your gross income for retirement so let's look at this the 15 to 20 percent rule we want to save 15 to 20 percent of our gross income for retirement so if you make hundred thousand dollars a year you want to save fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per year for retirement now this is not for your savings your emergency fund hey a good rule of thumb is to put 15 percent into an emergency fund like the bank until you have three to six months saved for an emergency but this rule is specific to retirement savings so if you have a $5,000 check, that's your gross income. So $60,000 a year, $5,000 a month. 1,000 of that each month needs to go into retirement savings. Now, that could be a portion into a 401k, another portion into a Roth IRA, a taxable brokerage account. $1,000 just needs to be saved for retirement. No matter what that retirement vehicle looks like, it just needs to go towards retirement. Let me show you the power of compound interest. I always say God's greatest gift outside of Jesus is compound interest. So let's say you're 25 years old and you have zero saved for retirement and you take a thousand dollars a month off a $60,000 income from age 25 to 60 and you save that so $12,000 annually and you save that in a retirement account, maybe a mixture of a 401k and a Roth, a taxable brokerage account, an IRA, something. And you just do a thousand dollars a month every month for the rest of your life, or at least until 60 years old. And you earn 8% a year. So the market has averaged 10% since 1950. Let's say you average 8% a year. Okay, so it's 8% with inflation. At the end of this 25 to 60 year old time frame, you'd have close to $2.3 million saved for retirement. That's putting in 15 to 20% of your gross income every month for retirement savings. Now I realize we're not all 25, I'm 37. You might be 45. You might need to adjust how much you're saving for retirement, but this is a great rule of thumb to help you get started. Thank you.